Hey guys, today I'm talking about communion. Communion is drinking juice or wine and eating bread to remember Jesus' sacrifice, and I'll explain that more right now. You can find where Jesus told us to do communion in 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 26, and that gives some of the instructions. In communion, you take bread and you break it, and you eat it, and then you take juice or wine and you drink that. That's how churches do it today. So the bread symbolizes Jesus' body broken or beat up or whenever he got put on the cross. It symbolizes when Jesus was crucified. And 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 24 talks about this. And it's usually bread that does not rise. Uh, they called it unleavened bread in that time. That's why if you ever take communion and they're using unleavened bread, it usually doesn't taste very good because they didn't have any salt in that bread either because that would be considered leavening or something that would make the bread rise. It's just part of Jewish tradition that started that. The wine is a symbol of Jesus' blood that was spilled for us whenever he died on the cross. You can hear about that in, or it talks about that in 1 Corinthians 11.25. And it can be juice or wine. Either one works. In 1 Corinthians 11, 26 through 29, it says not to do communion unless you are worthy of doing it. Now, what that's talking about is it could be um, you're not supposed to do communion if you're not a Christian. And you're not supposed to do communion if you are uh, continuing in unrepentant sin. You're continuing to sin without repenting for it. Those are two examples, but there could be other things also that it's talking about. There are some theories about communion that I will touch on very quickly. Uh, one of them is that the bread and the wine literally turn into Jesus' physical body and physical blood. So you're literally eating and drinking Jesus' body and blood. I do not believe this, however, I think it's just a uh, symbolic thing, normal bread, normal juice, or wine. And some churches, they'll all drink out of the same cup, some churches, they'll all give you an individual cup, that doesn't really matter. So I will make more videos on this in the future, and I hope this helps you understand what communion is.